Welcome hey. back to Elden Worm episode 8. Uh, I have off screen upgraded the katana a little bit. It's now a plus 2 katana. That should help us clear out the fringe folk hero grave a little better. Which now, thankfully, is stone chariotless. Hit a little bit harder. And now because we no longer need to wait here, we can just whoop, roll past those guys. And, oh! He followed me under huh. I was not expecting him to follow me this far. Oh well. Easy enough to deal with. And this part's super annoying. As you see, I already did die here. So <laughs> here's the sneaky part. They spawned four of the fuckers. What? I... I jumped you first! So yeah, that's the sneaky bit of garbage. But they spawn four. Four of those assholes simultaneously. Oh. There we go. Well, what's worse? What's worse? It's this guy up here. Yeah! Another one of these exile knights. This one's a little different though. This one's a sort of shield one. Alright, he's gonna shield dash. And... Wow, even though I rolled that, still hit me. Stupid ghosts with their all their bloody teleporting. Ooh. How did I... Just so slow and tedious to fight them because I just don't hit hard enough. Oh! Fuck. 
No! 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 Ah! Oh, magic pixel! Magic pixel! Here we go again! And now we're back here, <coughs> and we just need to fight this guy patiently. Got him. And we got the Dragon Communion Seal. That's what I wanted. That was the big treasure to get. Ah. The Dragon Communion Seal. This is the one that I tend to use. There. Formless Drake Blood Seal with a Dragon Communion Crest. Enhances Dragon Communion incantations. The sacrificial devouring of the heart gives power. Indeed, Dragon Commune is too primal in nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. The seal scales incantations with one's arcane attribute. Now then, I'll just go back up to the grace and reload and then we have uh, two more things to get here. Well, three more things. But I think I'm going to take a small break from the Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. I've got the feeling like we're just, quite frankly, not entirely ready for it. Right, well, I am going to just very quickly go back over here. Past their impy friends. Come 
Come on. Empty friends. Friends. And then anyway, quickly grabbing this thing. Well, we got the seal. <laughs> okay, so this episode is a little bit of a mess. Uh, I'm probably gonna clip some, some things together, maybe explain what's going on, but right now, what I realize is that I am just struggling to do the damage with this build so far. I could really do with more more decks and more arcane possibly but um, how I'm gonna deal with that is for now I'm gonna get a little stopgap I'm gonna get that outside of the hero's grave uh, let's see where is that ah yes Something to give me a little bit more of a damage edge, because in the Hero Grave I'm, I'm struggling to make ends meet in terms of just doing damage. All the fights take long, and if I'm not feeling great, then I want the fights to just take shorter. Less time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to this place. Some of our adorable jellyfish. There's a little, uh, oh. Oof. Shoot, I aggroed both of them. Going well. Ah! Did not want to aggro both of them at once. Stake of America. Where is it? Some. Where? Where does it place me for the Stake of America? Where does it place me? Oh, here. Pretty damn close. Right. Well. Let me target the, the the one in the bushes over there. 
There we go. that tough if you don't, you know, get two of them on horseback running you down simultaneously. Oh. Or, you know, if your connection remains stable. start an offline mode. Does it matter? I wasn't really using many of the online features anyway. Not right now. I certainly should get some... Oh, yeah. Let me suddenly just over there. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, throw off my jet. What? How the heck did he hit me behind him? Smoldering butterfly, and there's one more guy over there. Jam an arrow in his bones. Jam two arrows in his bones. What? Why did I not swing? I swear I pressed the button to swing. Oh well. There we go. The Armorer's Cookbook. That's what I wanted. Armorer's Cookbook 1. That is a major, major help. Now we're going back to the Hero Grave. To try and finish it off. But now, now we can craft fire grease. There, that's the good stuff. That'll help us really do some proper damage. And I think I will try... Spear jellyfish is just frankly not going to do enough damage. I'm gonna do the skeletal militia men for what I have in mind next. I think they have a better better odds of being a long-term successful distraction. Well, there we 
go. Am I being followed? No, it looks like I'm not being followed. Okay, anyway, last time we went right, this time we're going left. Ugh, this is not gonna be fun. Ah, that's what I thought. I, I heard the noise. This is uh, below that level with the imps. Anyway, we got more coming up. Three of them. Hey. Right. Come on. Thankfully, it's quite possible to lure them out one at a time. Oh. Just over his head. Are you gonna come over here or what? Ah! Come on, man. Come on, big bro. than the actual boss because yes this place still has a boss fight <coughs> and because it's such a pain in the ass to get down here they place the stake of America just outside of it oh, time for one of my least favorite bosses in this entire game I hate these things and yes things because there are so many of them an ulcerated tree spirit they are horrible. So, why did I summon the skeletal militia, man? You might be wondering. Well, the neat thing about the skeletal militia, man, ugh, unless that happens, is that they self-reanimate, just like regular skeletons do. Ah, shit. I was hit by that. And here's the... Oh, that thing is massive. He has large, large sweeping attacks. Oh! Oh, no, 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 I'm getting me. Oh, my lord, I'm still alive. For how long? Nope. Come on, let me have a drink. And here he comes. Anytime that we're too close to him. Oh, I gotta eat it again. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. We are nowhere close. Ah! 
And the problem with this thing is it's so big that it's really hard to see what telegraph <laughs> what attacks it's telegraphing. So that's what makes it a massive pain in the ass. Okay, the skeletal militia men are just not likely to reanimate. I guess we'll try the dogs. Fire katana does seem like it's a useful move. Oh, okay. Dodge that first tail slap. All right, uh, dodge the bite. So erratic in its movement. And it's big. Alright, the wolves are definitely more helpful though. Uh oh, this move. I hate this. And then he does that to all the wolves are dead. No! Oh, shit! Come on, let me have a drink! Oh, I would really like to grease up my weapon again. Whoa! And then you need to dodge the next attack because there's no time to drink. But then you need to actually dodge the attack. Oof, I hate these things so much. They are atrocious. And you encounter quite a lot of them. Thankfully, a lot of them you encounter in less confined areas. But the first two that you encounter during the game are fuck me. Jeez. Yeah, and sometimes bosses just go berserk. And and then just for some reason like the boss AI just goes nuts ah and you just die instantly it's like oh yeah I got him down to half health or three quarters or something and then you do have one of those attempts where just for some reason the boss just goes apeshit at the start, and nothing works. As, as you saw, like, instantly deleted all the walls. Oh, come on! Like, that attack, how do you even, how do you even see... How to dodge that when all right and one wolf already dead get the monster so big like three quarters of his character model just clips through all the walls and ceiling That? He just was not designed for this room. Oh crap! And out! Ah. Ah. And that it. See, you can't see what he's doing.
Oh, that's a good... Yes. Stab in the eye. Unfortunately, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to. Ooh. Oh, come on. I wasn't hit by that. I mean, obviously I was, but... Oh, crap. Ah. Oh, come on. It's so sudden. Well, we are out of... Actually, we are not out of drinkies entirely. We have one drinky left. Where is he? What's he doing? Oh, we got him. Woo. And you do get two things for beating this guy. Banished Knight Oleg, another really powerful summon, and a golden seed. And 15,000 runes. Oh, right. Now, I'm going to see how I have to cobble this entire episode together. It's going to be a bit of a mess. But we finished the stranded, uh, the, or what was the Fringe Folk Heroes graveyard. And got the actual, like, Fringe Folk Hero summon uh, from the graveyard. Because now we have Banish Knight Engval, who, as you might remember, is one of the two knights dubbed Wings of the Storm. Now we have the other one. One of the two knights dubbed, uh, known as Wings of the Storm. After his banishment, he attracted the notes of the grace-given lord, and later, having slain a hundred traitors as the lord's hand, Oleg earned the hero's honor of Erdtree Burial. So yeah, they're both a pair of heroes, which is why they got proper Erdtree Burials. Oleg apparently has, has a little bit more renown, I guess, because he got an actual... he got buried here. Rather than just... <laughs> Any old catacomb. He got the big dick catacomb. Alright, 15,000. <coughs> That's a couple of level ups. I Maybe I did this, maybe I did this one a little bit early. There, let's get our vigor to 20. And leave it there for just a little bit. Whilst we start working on our mind, our FP again, so we can actually summon some of those heroes. <sighs> also, we should start memorizing some spells. There we go. We have Flame Sling. And after all, we have a seal. So we can cast. It's a neat little trick. Being able to chuck fireballs. <sighs> um yeah. I think I think that'll do for this one. Next time we'll do something outdoorsy again. And continue on our path to becoming an Elden Worm. Because that is I didn't. I didn't put that Dragon Communion seal in our hand and the Dragon Communion seal on our head for no particular reason. I do intend to get myself a Dragon Heart and start doing Dragon Incantations. But we'll save that for another time. Until then... Hey. Boop.